that is data modeling okay so in uh, data modeling chapter what we are going to understand is uh, how to create the database or how actually the database of salesforce works how uh, the tables like how we create the tables uh, the data is stored in tables or not or how the tables are related to each other and every other stuff related to the data we cannot have a business application without its data being stored every business application needs to store its data as well so for that we'll focus on to data modeling chapter and we'll see that how we can create uh, store our data related to our business in salesforce got get, get it so first of all uh, anyone uh, anyone amongst you can you please tell me uh, what is uh, like what is a database collection of rows and columns that's that's table i guess i'm asking for what is a database collection of data in an organized manner okay so basically uh, organized collection of information is called as database there are different types of database in which sometimes like we do not even store the data in tables so it's not always about table but like there is information and there is organized collection of information organized collection of information so okay earlier uh, we used to store data in excel sheets as well why do we need to have a database we can store the data in excel sheets right so why do we need to have a database on the first hand excel sheet like what what problems do you face when you are managing excel sheet data is that's there in database as well what you can do that for excel sheets as well why to use database instead of excel sheets and you can control f done okay so let me tell you you, you all are right in in bits and bits of it uh, but let me tell you exactly what is the reason so fetching the data from an excel sheet which has got thousands of records is difficult identifying the records uniquely mm -hmm. is difficult so for all of these things we came up with a solution of having a database in which fetching the records storing the records updating the records managing the data becomes easier in excel sheets on the other hand in excel sheets it is not that easy so that from the, from there uh, from this give me a second so uh, from this what do we say from file system we moved to database uh, with this with the help uh, like we moved to database because we wanted organized collection of information uh, to be stored and to be managed very easily getting it okay so what is the basic entity of a database what is the basic entity of a database like database has what database or table you are talking about okay so what is it a table right a simple table and uh, in the, in this we can store different uh, in like information of different students ajay oops let's say aj pj xs whatever you want to keep it right these are the names of the students and then you can add the phone then add the email Like let let me add the phone. 
then you can add the email then you can add the class in which they are and something like this so this complete what we call it as a right what is this these are entities columns simple columns hmm? what are these simple everyone knows it it's so smart right so in a normal database in a relational database like my sql or sql whatever you call it oracle and something like that the data gets stored in the database obviously but in the database we need to have a table uh, which stores the information in a structured format and a table includes two things columns and rows columns are basically the attributes of like what what kind of data we want to store for a, for every student and rows are basically the instances of that table which stores the information of the students uh, in that particular table which which stores the actual information is it clear okay Salesforce database is of the similar way of as a relational database for all of us. Like down there, it's something different that you're gonna realize later in this program, in this course. And uh, but for now, you have to think Salesforce database as of a relational database only. And in a relational database, there are tables. So Salesforce also stores information in a tabular format or in a table only. But the terminologies are different. right the terminologies are different when it comes to salesforce so when it comes to salesforce give me a second someone wants to join i guess so when it comes to salesforce oh, oh well when it comes to sales for the terminology that we use for the table is object so whenever we will talk about a particular table what we are going to say object object will represent an entity which stores a particular information or a particular type of information in our database so if you want to store a uh, like information for students you're going to create what student object if you want to store information about your clients you're going to create an object of client if you want to store information about your courses you're going to create an object of course that's all what it is right then then comes uh, columns so in salesforce we call columns as so there's only terminology difference nothing else right then comes rows what do you think records we call uh, each instance of this the, of this object as record get it so this is the terminology difference if you want to create a diagram you can create it else uh, give me a second i'll show you the document for it
so here is the table that is created and if we'll uh, see in this table this is what columns which we call as fields when it comes to salesforce these are rows in relational database which we call as records this is a complete table which we call as object that's all what it is good are you good with this good have you guys ever heard about er diagram or entity relationship diagram you have heard about it right so it's a graphical or a like yeah graphical way of not a graphical way but a pictorial way of representing a database or a structure of a database we create those entities then we create the relations and then we do a lot of stuff right so when if like imagine if uh, your architect gives you an er diagram that please implement the database uh, in salesforce for this er diagram then there will be an entity and uh, so like what you're going to do with that entity what you're going to create of that entity relation i mean that's that's relationship that's completely different part but let's say there is a entity called as uh, what like uh, course over there or employee over there object yeah exactly object or table so in salesforce terminology we are going to say it as object not table right so entity is what object okay what about fields exactly so fields are attributes so the attributes that will be there in the uh, what in the er diagram will create fields for all of those attributes that's all what you are going to do and uh, what what do we call uh, records in an er diagram are there any records in er diagram no but still uh, there is a terminology that is used in er diagrams for the records what do we call it anyone okay tuples right we all have, have heard about this term right so tuples are basically what records right records or rows whatever you want to call it so this is exactly how it works are we all clear with it everyone so these are the terminologies that we use in uh, salesforce database good let's move further and uh, so up till now i have created only one table and uh, like yeah we have i've talked about object field and uh, records if i create another table then i have to create relationship between both of them and how we are going to create it so like in relational databases how we create that relationship with the help of primary key and foreign key concept right with the help of that we create relationship between two tables similarly in salesforce we have got a concept of relationship field where the foreign key is the relationship field and the primary key is the record id of the object with uh, which is on to the one side but that we are not discussing right now because up till now we'll uh, we only know about object and we'll focus more on to that and when we'll create multiple objects then we are going to talk about uh, relationship later in this uh, chapter only any question up till now no one good let's move ahead so now uh, let's so you all have understood what is an object so now let me tell you different types of objects so there are two different types of objects guys uh, i don't know what is happening Okay. 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 Uh, number one is standard, and number two is custom. So let me tell you what is what a standard object is and what a custom object is. A standard object is uh, the object is the is one of the objects uh, which is already present into Salesforce and given by Salesforce as a part of that product. So have you already seen some of the uh, like some of the objects which are already there which you haven't created in your developer edition or which one are they? Contacts, accounts, opportunities, leads, all of these things, cases. these all objects are what standard objects getting it and the objects that we create according to our needs and requirements are the ones called as 
custom objects. So that's the only difference. And let me tell you one more thing. Whenever in Salesforce, this standard terminology comes, you'll always think or you'll always align your mind towards that it's a pre-built thing. It's already given by Salesforce to us. We can customize the standard object or whatever the standard thing is. We have got the full power for that, but we cannot delete it. We cannot remove it completely. The standard thing. We like on the other hand, uh, like when it comes to the custom objects, we can delete whatever we want to, and uh, yeah, we, we can delete whatever we want to, and we can obviously, if we can create it, we can delete it, and we can customize it the way we want. To. That's all what it is. So both of the objects are customizable, but you can create custom objects, or the objects that you create are the custom objects, and you can delete them as well. Whereas you cannot delete the standard objects. I hope you got it. Any examples of uh, standard objects? Say. And. Explain me what it is used for. What is accounts used for? Or what is accounts used to store for? You. Yeah. Why do we use uh, accounts? Or what do we store in accounts? Let me see the chart meanwhile. User account information. No, 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 no. Anyone? So we store the information of our clients or our customers in the account standard object. That's all what it is. Right. What about leads? Potential customers, the, uh, the people who want to buy our product or, uh, or who are willing or who are interested in order to buy our product or buy our service are the ones which are considered as leads. So imagine uh, you guys were interested into this training program, right? You reached us out, you called us, you had some queries, you had some questions and then you got enrolled. So initially when you reached us out, we store your information into leads because you are a potential customer for us because you're in interested in buying this training program. Getting it? Then you became our customer. So you, you, you were earlier a lead and now you are an account for us getting it so that's what it is but we are we're going to discuss it in in depth later on uh, when we'll start with sales cloud but that's what the gist is all about and what about opportunity no not everyone sell courses Opportunities also contain list of no, no, it doesn't. It isn't like that. Hmm. Exactly. So uh, when I want to store the information of the deals, uh, basically, if we are selling you something, we can sell you multiple things as well. So account, uh, we sell something to our account or to our customer and the information of that deal, what, what amount you have sold it, what exactly you have sold to them, how many quantity, uh, how much quantity you have sold to them, everything gets stored into opportunity. So that's what it is. But uh, I mean, you can leave it for now. We'll discuss it later uh, when we'll start with the sales cloud. Are we good with this? Stand objects and any example of a custom object? Any, 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 any object that you create in order to store uh, a particular type of information uh, will be an example of what? Custom object, got it. 